Hi, I'm Jeff Murrow, and I want to welcome you to True Texas History, where today we are going to cover one of those dark corners of Texas history, the Las Casas Revolt, uh, because this is an area that um, not many people are aware of. Um, okay, now the Las Casas Revolt uh, deals with a situation that occurred in San Antonio in January of 1811. Um, and in that situation, uh, let me go ahead and give you the global picture. At, at, at that time, Napoleon was doing some of his uh, activity in Europe. And uh, as Napoleon was busy, he kept Spanish forces tied up. And so Spain was seen as a weak man. And people were taking advantage of that, not only in Europe, but also in America. Uh, <clears throat> because one of the things that happened, you had uh, Father Miguel Hidalgo. Uh, he believed that the, uh, the same liberation that occurred with the American states and what happened in the French Revolution should happen for America as well. And so he went ahead and uh, in Dolores, Mexico, he rang the church bell and uh, he uh, shouted out, uh, long live Our Lady of Guadalupe, long live independence, down with bad government. And, and this is known uh, affectionately as the Grito. <clears throat> and this was a call for uh, Mexican independence. Now... Uh, it is interesting that Hidalgo's followers in the army referred to themselves as the Army of the Americas um, because they believed that uh, the same things that happened in other parts of America should apply to Central America as well. Now, after a while, uh, the battle cry became... Uh, Long live Ferdinand VII, long live America, long live religion, down with government, death to the gouch pen. Now, the gouch pen, this is uh, an interesting uh, twist because the gouch pen is uh, a term that they used for um, you know, uh, whites of European descent. Uh, in, in Mexico, that was a problem, and it almost became kind of uh, a racial uh, situation. And what started off as an independence movement is now uh, turning into something ugly. And uh, this uh, caused some problems uh, down in Mexico as that occurred. Uh, and during the revolution, you also had uh, a fellow by the name of Peter Ellis Bean take part in it. Well, while they were busy uh, with the uh, Mexican Revolution, a fellow by the name of Juan Batista de las Casas uh, was in San Antonio, and he decided to uh, go ahead and stage essentially a, a Texas version of the revolution. And while the commander of the garrison was out and command had uh, been placed on Juan Batista, Juan Bautista went ahead and released some political prisoners uh, that were supposedly against Spanish authority. And they, uh, under <clears throat> Las Casas, they uh, imprisoned the governor of the region, a fellow by the name of Salcedo, uh, Governor Manuel Maria del Salcedo. Um, and uh, not only him, uh, but Lieutenant Colonel uh, Simon de Herrera were placed under arrest. Um, and de las Casas uh, was essentially ruling San Antonio and, and, in effect, ruling Texas for about 39 days. Um, and it was interesting that when Father Hidalgo, who was down in Mexico, heard about what was happening in Texas, he uh, decided to go ahead and... Um, move his forces to Texas, and he was uh, caught. Uh, now, um, 
the rightful authorities went ahead and overthrew De Las Casas, I mean, uh, Las Casas, as well as uh, captured Hidalgo, uh, and they saw to it that uh, both men uh, were executed. Now, in the case of Hidalgo, uh, they defrocked him because you don't want to go around shooting a priest. So they had to remove his uh, priest status before that happened. Uh, and, and with Hidalgo's death, death uh, Jose Morello, Morello, Morelos took over command. But uh, when uh, Las Casas was captured, Erasmo Seguin and Juan Viramendi, whose names you're well aware of, uh, they came into play more so with the Alamo saga later on. They were instrumental in capturing Las Casas. Now, um, after Las Casas and his uh, was executed, it was one of those brutal things that uh, they took the body, they beheaded him, they put the, the head on a stake there in San Antonio. I mean, we see San Antonio as a wholesome town now, but uh, back then... Uh, some of the punishments, especially for rebellion, uh, was very brutal. And, um, but uh, this is one of the things that happened uh, back in Texas in January of 1811. Uh, now, as per uh, someone's request, what are my sources? Um, I, I did go online, check some of the sources. Now, some of this story is in my book, uh, Texans Always Move Them, A True History of Texas. Uh, you can go online, uh, like for instance, the Alamo website. Uh, you can check sites like Medium, uh, find some material on, on Texas history um, about the Las Casas Rebellion and what happened. Uh, I merely pulled the pieces together from various sources. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, feel free to leave your comments, and um, I'll be glad to uh, answer them and get back to you. And uh, Until next time, vaya con Dios, my friends. It's good to be on the air again, uh, and I hope to have more uh, broadcasts in the near future. See you later. Bye.